What's going on guys? So just thought I'd give you a quick look at the updated iMovie application that is available for the iPad 2. iMovie has been available for a while now. It is an application that will allow you to edit different uh, different videos that you have recorded or uploaded onto your iPad 2. Um, it's been a while. It's been available for a while, but a lot of people have been disappointed with it, um, especially on the iPhone. They felt it was not as good as it should have been. But with this update, Steve Jobs said it is so much better, a lot more professional, with a lot more options. So this is the home screen down at the bottom here. I'll just show you what these different buttons do. Right here, we've got a little question mark. Hit that. A whole bunch of different help topics pop up. So if you aren't sure about some, go ahead and look here and just show you what. Um, different little options and uh, different little things mean. Down here, plus button um, just creates a new project. Right here, you can play any project that is selected, um, slide in between whatever projects you have, and you can play them. Right here, if you want a project uploaded to a different website, you can do that. You can upload it to your camera roll on your iPad, as well as YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN iReport, and you could also send your project to iTunes. This one button right here, you can take a video from iTunes and put it on GarageBand. And then this button right here, Trash Can, just deletes any project you have selected. Up here just says iMovie, your title of the project, um, the date it was created, and how long the project is. So I'll just go ahead and create a new project for you, just to show you what it looks like. Any video that you have recorded and that's in your library will be on this side right here. All you have to do is tap on it and hit the blue arrow right here and that will be put in your timeline you can just go ahead and scroll through and see what the video is right here um, you have a different options for different things you can put in your timeline video photos and music um, so if you want to put a video I mean a photo in you can just drag that over to your timeline uh, music as well they have a whole bunch of different music that is preloaded and as well as you can use different music um, from your iPad that you uploaded through iTunes. So I'll just go ahead and show you different music that's preloaded here. Just select that one and it will bring it right down into the project. The green is the audio and uh, the blue with the pictures is the video. If you want to edit any of the audio settings right here, um, again the green is the video so if you want to edit the audio settings on the video so you hear the music more clearly you can do that as well. This play button just plays the, um, the video rather for you, um, shows you a little preview of what you've done so far. Right here is a button you can record your own sound, so if you want to record your voice over the video, you can do that as well. And then right here, you can uh, choose to record the video through the iPad camera, and uh, so you can record right from your iPad if you want to do that, and then save it right to GarageBand. Up here we've got an undo button, so anything you want undone, say you don't want that song on your movie, go ahead and hit undo and it will delete the last step, um, whatever you did. Uh, so definitely a helpful tool if you don't make any poor mistakes that uh, may, might ruin your video. And then up here is just a little settings button. You can choose different theme music, loop background music. You can fade in, fade out, different effects. Um, you can choose a different theme and uh, all that fun stuff in project settings right here. So there you go, just a quick look at iMovie for the iPad 2. Definitely an update from the original iMovie that came out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this update. Definitely a good job by Apple. A lot more powerful, a lot more settings to choose from. Let me know what you think if you have um, iMovie, rather. If you have it, uh, what you think. Uh, maybe you guys use it to edit YouTube videos. I might have to start using this to edit my own videos. It looks pretty good, so do let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video.